Hi everybody, it's Abrar. Really excited to be tuning in uh, today and I'm glad you came on to hear our special message. We're really excited to have to launch our 11-5 issues live, 11-5 for election day. So if you haven't set it in your calendar, November 5th, make sure you uh, remember the date. And issues, because we want to make sure we address the matters that affect you in this county, that are on your mind, that you may be confused by uh, related to school board. So uh, this is going to be the first of several videos we'll be doing over the coming weeks, and we encourage you to tune in every Sunday. Uh, I just came back from canvassing. You know, when we think about this race, there are so many things to do, so many people to talk to, uh, and we were just knocking on doors, speaking to the community up in Mount Vernon, uh, learning about the things that matter to them. You know, we heard a lot of things that were on people's minds. Uh, you know, a, a grandmother who's worried about her grandchildren going into middle school and, and preparing them for that, or a father who is concerned about how our taxpayer dollars are used and ensuring that they're put to, put to use uh, in a way that's meaningful for children and that helps them succeed. So, you know, talking to the community and canvassing is something that always reminds me of the importance of being an accessible public servant. You know, I grew up in Fairfax County, you guys all know that, uh, and, and my time here wasn't always the best in terms of uh, accessing, you know, public officials that, that uh, lead us and, and that serve here. And I want to make sure that what we understand to be a politician, what we stereotypically associate with that word, isn't how we represent and how uh, I hopefully will lead you someday. Uh, so, you know, I, want, I hope to be proactive. I hope to engage with communities that haven't been at the table. I want to elevate the student voice, uh, faculty, staff of, of our school system to really hear from the community and to hear from you uh, about what issues matter to you. So, one of the things I'm really excited about too is that I want to do this in a bipartisan fashion. You know, um, as you all know, I have the Democratic endorsement and I'm proud to represent certain values. At the same time, I want to make sure that the conversation is for everyone. I formally run as independent, as we all know, um, and this is something that doesn't fit blue or red. We are looking after the best interests of our kids, um, making sure that regardless of where a kid lives in this county, that they have an equal chance of succeeding, that they can access excellence, that their mental health and social and emotional needs are cared for. That's what we're in this for and that's what I hope to bring um, in being accessible, hearing from you to make me better because I don't always you know, know everything and I can't assume that I do. Um, in any case, so uh, I encourage you to read my post. I had a recent post on the importance of school board and really, again, this is where it starts. When we talk about building that leader in every child, nurturing that, that leader uh, and ensuring that kids uh, have access to the best in schools because education is ultimately the great equalizer. That opportunity that will start us off in whatever, in the closest way to becoming a meritocracy, where we do actually allow people to succeed based on their hard work. Uh, and we know that's, that's too often not the case for so many in America here and in our community in Fairfax County. Uh, so we're going to be launching something really exciting. Uh, we're launching our listening tour. We encourage you to invite us. Uh, we want to come out to your community. We want to meet you where you're at. Where I understand that you know it's not always easy for people to come out to public meetings or to leave their kids at home or maybe elderly parents. I want to come to you. I want to meet your community um, and, and hear the things that matter to you and that you care about. I'm also excited that I'm going to be hosting office hours. Uh, we're going to be doing them twice a week, Monday and Friday, Monday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. and Fridays 3 to 5. Uh, so we'll have our sign up link on our Facebook page. Please, you know, sign up. If that's not a convenient time for you, let us know. We don't want, again, we want to be accessible to you. I want to be proactive about reaching out and hearing from you and not just waiting for the issues to kind of come forward to me or for something to get so bad that I ultimately hear about it. Uh, and we're going to be out in the community this week at various events. You know, we might meet you at the Springfield Bridge Walk, if you're coming out to that on Tuesday, honoring veteran families, um, which of course is something we want to think about in the schools as well. Uh, and I'm back to school nights. So as you guys know, school is tomorrow. We're very excited uh, that all our you know, young people are going back to the classroom, our teachers are going back to their really critical roles. Um, and so we're going to be out on back at, at various schools, Robinson Middle School and others. Um, in the you know outside handing out a little bit more information about the election and waiting to meet you to talk to you so come up you know talk you know feel free to to be in touch um, and let me know where you're headed or where I can meet you and, and I'd love to start the conversation 
Uh, so again, we're going to be doing these on a weekly basis. Tune in um, on every Sunday, uh, 11.5, Issues Live, and send us your feedback. What are some of the issues that you care about? Is there something that's preventing you from accessing the school system or um, leadership or, or public servants in our community that you may not understand maybe or a lot of these issues are really complex so we want to break them down we want to make it as easy as possible for everybody to understand and be engaged with um, so send us some ideas comment uh, let us know you know what are topics that are weighing on you uh, and that are um, things that we can we can ex better explain and, and help you um, understand and follow I look forward to meeting you I look forward to having a conversation uh, until next time, 11.5 Issues Live.